Ace, did you get that led you to say no to the pros and come back? You know, I felt with this team that we were going to have a great opportunity this year to do something special. And on top of that, for a personal reason, you know, to show that I'm not just a right tackle, I'm one of the best left tackles. So I came back to prove that. Okay, we'll go over second row on your right. Hey, Darren, how, how has the NIL uh, changed what you've done personally? And have you seen any other changes with guys in the locker room now being able to profit off their name, image, and likeness? Uh, personally, with the NIL, I think it's a great opportunity for, you know, guys who don't continue on football, you know, to get an early start and something else they want to do if it goes down that route. Um, me personally, um, I feel like we should have just added more to uh, stipend money every year just because I feel like it'll take too much away from our personal goals. The whole reason we go to college is to, to get a degree and then go to the NFL. And I feel like with that, it's, it might be a little bit of a distraction for some people. To your left up here, second row. Hey, Darian, it's a long way off, but I just want to get your thoughts on uh, LSU going to Lexington. That hasn't happened in 14 years because of the way the SEC structured and whatnot with the scheduling. How much are you looking forward to a, a home game like that this year? I feel like it's going to be high energy. Um, since we haven't had him in 14 years, you know, I feel like we're just going to play on like we do every other game. Though we're, we plan on going out and winning, and that's what we do every other game. So I feel like it's just going to be high energy. On your right front row. Speaking of that high energy and playing in front of home, this year should be, you know, kind of back to normal, playing in front of full stadiums again. Um, what's the excitement level like for that as opposed to last year when you guys didn't have that opportunity? Uh, Honestly, personally, I think I think it's more of uh, what, when I first heard about full capacity, I thought, oh, crap, I really got to, you know, listen to the cadence and really be zoned in because, you know, I had the uh, honor of not having to really pay attention too much on cadence. But I'm excited, though. I feel I feel like we were missing a lot of energy last year. And with them all back, I, I think it just gives us, uh, you know, a bigger reason to play harder. To your left front row. Anthony Patterson with the Atlanta Voice. Um, of course, going off of my partner's questions here, he was talking about the cross-conference matchups in which you guys at LSU coming to Lexington. Um, how excited does that get you that you do get to face cross, you know, cross-division rivals like that? And does that play a factor at all in you coming back to Kentucky? You know, having big games is, you know, part of a part of a, you know, average season. You know, you have four or five games that are specific that you really want to win. Um, that's going to be one of those most definitely. But um, we're still going to prepare like we do every week for every other team. You know, we're going to go out there with the game plan to win and make the best team win. Stay on the left in the second row. It seems like you're entering the season with a little bit more swag. The fashion's on point. Where is that confidence coming from? Um, just proving, proving everybody I'm the best. I'm one of the best. Uh, you know, I'm coming out here to prove the point, prove that I'm one of the best offensive linemen in the country. And especially coming from Kentucky, nobody puts respect in Kentucky's name. So doing that and being one of the best from Kentucky, I think I have something to prove. To your right, front row. Speaking of that, the, the fashion and the swag, are you the best dressed at, at Media Days this week? Uh, I hope. <laughs> That's the goal. And, and, and talking on the season, um, do you guys feel, what are the expectations like on the team heading into this year? I mean, do you guys feel like you, you've built something that you, know, you expect to be more competitive than Kentucky's been in the past? I feel like we're always competitive. Um, especially being an O-lineman, the whole, you know, grit, you know, that's how we were taught, come in, play hard, and never quit. Uh, I feel like this is the mentality we were taught, and I feel like it's going to continue on. Um, I don't feel like much has changed because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still football, and we're still going to play hard and the best of our ability. Okay, we'll stay on the right, third row. Coach was just mentioning in, in there um, how you guys have undergone adversity, loss of a coach. Um, just talk about that adversity you guys went through and what have y'all learned? What are you going to, what, even though it's so tragic, different things, what positives can you take from that and use in this upcoming season? 
Um, Coach Larman, you know, he, he was he was very special to Kentucky, the state of Kentucky, and us as O line. Um, he taught us a, a lot, you know. Um, like I said, that tenacity, that grit, the never quitting, you know, make them feel you. Don't like make them quit. You know, that was a big mentality from from him that was taught and ingrained into us every practice, every day he was there. And just being a genuine person, genuine guy who always cared about what was going on in your daily life and being a good God fearing man. Um, you know, that's one of those positives that you can take away from him is just just do unto others what you want unto you. He was he was a guy who cared for everybody, every soul, with a big smile on his face, and always had high, high energy. And that's what we plan on doing and carrying on uh, in his memory, and keep wearing his jersey every Saturday night, and keep playing for him. Any other questions? Why is it that offensive linemen are some of the best speaking players there are? <sighs> It's kind of crazy because honestly, we get hit the most, so I'm I'm actually really one of the same. 